Chapter 10, The Lord of Chaos. So much for the sneak attack. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Gino's Bad at Games. Um, we just got thrust into the thick of it. Uh, we're going back uh, to the one of the earlier levels to fight the main bad guy. And they just thrust you right into it. Problem is they gang so many up on you and then you get juggled and you can't uh, really recover from it. I get that they wanted to make it epic and uh, you know, like your guys are really powerful, but I mean, you just can't even defend any of this. Across the break. Get up behind them, you're better off. Because they block you if you get up front. Throw your weapons at the archers!
And his attack's pretty powerful on them. You just gotta be able to charge it up. The harder ones are here. That's the understatement right there. And you gotta get up behind them or they're gonna block everything. And then they just waste you. Don't stop him. He'll bring out enough force to crush Faerun. But be warned. Limbo is the breeding ground of chaos. Our laws of nature don't apply. Anything is possible. Then we have a chance. Ah, you brought me the sword. Good. What? The Silver Sword of Death. It will help me take Thayne so much more quickly. You three have turned out to be well worth my effort. You won't think so for long! Come on, guys, do something. Ah, great. Get up, man, get up. I am so he was like stuck. It's gonna let me hit him. <laughs> yeah, wizard, you keep hitting him. <laughs>
you must know by now you have no hope against me. From inside that gym, I controlled you for years. I chose you three and brought you to me. No one controlled me. No, he's right. A warrior who exiled himself in the guilt of his failure. A sorcerer shunned by his family for being different. A mixed breed who ran away from home where she never belonged. Three forsaken souls wandering the world alone. I'm the only one who's ever cared about you. Now, give me that sword. It seems you have a problem. Because we're not alone anymore. And if you want this sword, you'll have to take it. At least they gave me some uh, power back. Yeah. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, and the, the ones I don't like are here. Hopefully they don't, uh... Yeah, I'm stuck down there like that. At least he's not nailing me. Get up, man. something to throw I'd be throwing it but it's like I was oh I dodge him I guess until they give me something to throw Let the wizard shoot him for a bit Seeks me out. I'm gonna shoot at him there, wizard, or am I gonna have to do it? Really? Compared to the dragon, that guy was nothing. I've is he really done? Cause that was not hard. Over here. It's so good to see you home. Okay. <laughs> You're alive. I bring you thanks from Gareth Dragonsbane, King of Damara and its neighboring realms. Word of your triumph echoes through the land. You've done very well. The king has also granted that you three rule the wild land of Vasa. The region is untamed and perilous, but it's yours to master if you want it. We can handle it. Then I've one final word of caution for you. The silver sword is revered by the Githyanki. It is an ancient artifact, and they will surely come to take it back. Let them try.
Well, guys, that was uh, Forgotten Realms Demon Stone. Um, it was fun to go back and play it again, but would I play it again now? Eh, maybe the Drizzt level. Um, because, dang it, I want a Drizzt game. But this is definitely one of those early games where they hadn't uh, mastered how, you know, mo fighting multiple enemies... Uh, like you know, kind of like uh, they haven't they had mastered it like say a uh, an Arkham Asylum or something like that, where it was very unbalanced. Um, anytime there was anything that you had to shoot at or something like that, your attacks were so slow and they were so fast and accurate, and so those parts weren't fun. And I also thought, I mean, the dragon was a way harder enemy than the final enemy. Um, I don't remember how many times I fought the dragon. I lost uh, once getting to the last bad guy. So, you know, it it was a fun game to play. I, I did enjoy playing it. I'm not going to play it again for a long time. I'm glad I got to finish it finally. And I do remember losing on that bridge uh, on the PS2 and just getting frustrated and quitting. Because I had played the Drizzt level, but I, I forgot why I stopped playing it. And then that bridge reminded me very harshly why I did. Um, I wish they would do another game like this, though, uh, with Drizzt and Bruner and Wolfgar and Catibre, and maybe even Regis. Um, that would be a fun game. Um, and it's unfortunate that Driss Duarden hasn't had more opportunities in movies and games and uh, all that sort of thing. I mean, they did have the comic book that was based on the books, but He's kind of got the shaft uh, when it came when it comes to all sorts of stuff. I'd love to see an animated series on Netflix or something uh, about Driz Duard. But um, but yeah, the game as a whole. I don't know if there ever was a sequel. They kind of teased it there at the end. I don't know if there ever was a sequel though. Um, if there was, maybe I'll check it out. But I I don't think it exists. But that being said, I'm not positive. But anyway, uh, this is going to be all for. Uh, this playthrough of Demon Stone on Geno's Bad at Games. I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to play next, so stay tuned to the Real Geno YouTube channel. If you like what you've seen here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel, like this video, and if you have anything to say about this game, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, as always, I am the Real Geno, Geno Reynolds. Game over.